So I just want to talk to you this evening about the Swift Command website. Now in the new year, Swift are going to be having a brand new updated website. Now sergeants are doing the work for Swift because obviously sergeant designed the, uh, the, the, all the electronics and everything that go with it and uh, also been talking to me about the website and I'm quite excited that I've had a chance to have a little look at the website before it goes live and to give them a little bit of feedback on the website. I think it's pretty good and uh, I, I don't see too much wrong with it. It's a big improvement on the previous website. And what's even better is that as well as the PC based website, you've got a mobile friendly website as well, which is far, far better to use than the app that came from Swift originally, which I find absolutely unusable. You can't even put the, the password in properly. So. I think you'll agree this is a great leap forward. So let's have a look at it. So obviously you've got a log on screen. I'm not going to show you the password and everything, but so here we are. It says I've got one connected vehicle. Uh, you can obviously have more than one vehicle. So if you've got a caravan and a motor or a caravan, motor and camper van, if you're especially lucky, I'd have it on there. So I click on the picture and this gives me all the details about my motor home, uh, what model it is, when I purchased it, where I bought it from, where it's serviced. And it also tells me where it is at the moment. I don't know if you can see that, but it's near Lostock Hall. It's actually at Todd's at the moment because I'm having a vehicle and habitation service done. Uh, so might be quite interesting accessing the, uh, the vehicle remotely whilst it's at the dealers. So I'm doing this in the evening, so I hope there's no one around at Todd's workshop and they're going to get a bit of a surprise when the lights come on, aren't they? So let's have a look what we've got. Next one down, if you click on these blue arrows, it, it gives you this drop down. Thing. And the next one is alert monitoring. And you can see here that you've got all the notifications for alarm, for the alarm, for frost, for water, for the leisure battery and the vehicle battery. You either get an email or you get an SMS. And it's worth mentioning that these levels are now preset. Previously, you could actually change them yourself, but I think people found it a little bit uh, confusing and um, knowing which levels to choose. So they've now preset these levels but you can turn them on or off. So you can decide whether you want an email or an SMS. What you've got next is tracking mode. Now this is an interesting one. Um, it means that you can actually turn off part of the tracking system. So if your vehicle is being transported, um, if you've been moved on and moved abroad or something, uh, you can turn off its GPS position alerting and um, but you've still got your alarm uh, your, your alarm and your battery disconnect warnings are still active the other one is if it's being serviced you can turn off the alarm and battery disconnect so if you know perhaps the engine's going to be worked on and they're going to have to disconnect the battery you might want to turn that off because you don't want an alarm every time they connect up the battery or it goes off so that's quite useful It does take a bit of time sometimes to connect because you are going through the mobile network. But this is the remote control page. And here you've got all the power is off in the van at the moment. If I click that, it sends a command to the motorhome to switch the power on. So the power is on. The lights have come on. So if this the night watchman is wondering why these lights keep going on and off. Uh, you can switch the entry light on or off, awning light on and off, dimmer on and off, and dimmer 2 is on low, you could turn it up a bit, perhaps brighten up the lights. You might want to do this if you, you know you know you're, you're coming home or coming back to your motor home, and you might just want to get the lights on ready. You might want to switch the heating on, so that way you can actually control it via the timer, you can switch the electric on or off, or you can do the override, so you can override the temperature set by the timer here. 
I don't want to switch the heating on or off but it's perfectly possible to do that and uh, obviously if I switch the electric on two one two three kilowatts on or off probably shouldn't be messing with that if I click OK that will send that command to the motorhome to switch the heating on or whatever you've chosen to do so I'm not going to do that I don't really want to be flattening in battery or <laughs> using up the gas that tells you the heat is on or off the hot water's off obviously and these are the alerts the, these are the levels at the moment that you'd get alerts on so frost no frost vehicle battery 12.7 leisure battery 12.5 the water is 75 percent so there's obviously put some water in it since this morning because i took it to the to todd's with no water in it internal temperature 13.9 external temperature 10.5 I think it's actually inside their workshop because I know it's a bit colder than that outside tonight so well, what I ought to do is actually make sure I turn the power off there we go, turn the power off otherwise when they come to find the, the motorhome in the morning they'll find the power on and I think who switched the power on next one is history you know, the the, uh, the system can record what's been happening throughout a period. I'm just going to look at what's been happening today. You know, I took it in for its service this morning, and you've got the inside temperature. So it was quite cool in the inside temperature. This is obviously when I was going along, about nine ten o'clock. Temperature started changing. We must have switched the heating on at that point because it went up to 20 degrees and it's gone off and gone down since then. And that's the uh, outside temperature. You've got the leisure battery, so there's obviously been things going on battery going up and down, the vehicle battery there. And that's what's been happening with the water. So, obviously, at some stage, they put fresh water in there and they've drained down the wastewater. And that's the humidity. Just wanted to add here that if we go back to history and we put in a, a rather longer date, so we go back a few months. Choose today's date. Obviously, you'll get the graphs, and it won't make much sense because there's too many points on them. But what you will get on the map just below is a history of where you've been, because it's recording, it's tracking you all all over wherever you go. That was quite interesting where we'd actually been all over the country. So that's the history. Underneath that, you've got some documentation. You've got your tracking certificate. That's the document you get from Thatcham about your tracking system. It's a PDF, and basically, I won't show you. It's not particularly exciting, but more importantly, you can download the owner's manual and the user's manual because this link here, this owner's manual, takes you to the Swift website and the documentation part of the website. So I want to have a look at the map here. You've got this up here map. And if you go into here, it gives you quite a bit of information. Let's just turn that off. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay. So if I click my vehicles, it tells me where my vehicle is. If I click dealers, it tells me where all the Swift dealers are. If I click club, they've linked up with a camping and caravanning club and uh, these are all the local uh, sites or indeed all the club sites all around Britain. The nearest one to us is Clitheroe. They've listed all their certificated sites as well so there's a good deal of those. They've listed the forest sites, I think there are less of those, let's just zoom out a bit more, yeah there's a few New Forest, Holmesley, and one or two there, 
Boston Hill, Glen Glenmore, and Cashel Lock. Zoom in a bit more now. And you've got listed sites as well, there are thousands of listed sites. Those are the sites that the Camping and Caravanning Club list in their book. So if you ever stop for a site to go to, there you are. So I think that is really useful, that having that map on there. You've got an account details uh, button there, and that basically allows you to uh, change your details, your phone numbers and mobile and address contact numbers for the tracking so if they need to contact you for if you've had an alert or something like that then the center the numbers are in there for the center to use i won't show you that for obvious reasons but that is the new swift command website and like i said i'm i'm relatively impressed about it it's probably worth just summarizing what you've got with the system um, you've got system alerts so you get alarms uh, when things uh, go wrong you've got the remote control which i'm just showing you there that you can anywhere you've got an internet connection you can control the power the internal and external lighting the heating the water you can monitor battery voltages temperature and that sort of thing it's all the Swift vehicles from 2016, I think it is, come with built-in tracking. And when you buy a Swift motorhome, you can activate the tracking. You pay for a subscription. You also pay for a data subscription, and that's the remote. So you've got two subscriptions. You've got the uh, you've got the remote tracking, and you've got the data subscription. I think if you you can get discounts on insurance as well that's the other thing and they say you get a 15% discount if you buy a caravan if you purchase swift shore super shore insurance you get discounts if you've got tracking anyway on a motorhome and just sign on this bit tells you a little bit more now it's interesting that there's a bit here and I just I won't go through all of this but there's a bit in here that talks about the subscriptions so let me just show you that it says you, when you when you uh, add an optional tracking you can add an optional tracking system at any time and you can buy it for one two or three years if you buy it within the first three years it's either 95 pound 190 or 285 respectively if purchased in year four onwards a tracking with data subscription is required and then you can buy that for one two or three years so that's a 130 240 or 350 or if you don't require tracking you can buy it separately in year four and just get a remote data subscription and that's 40 pounds 60 pounds or 75 pounds so this is the mobile version of the website and all the facilities that are available on the main website are available on the mobile. I'm just showing you this via my phone which is mirrored to my laptop so you can see it and it sends commands, you can adjust the lighting, the heating, just as you could on the main website. So wherever you've got a mobile signal and you've got a mobile you, you can access it via the web. So what do you think? Do you like the new website? And uh, does it make it easier to use things remotely? Have you used the remote system, the Swift command system? I think if you've looked at the app on the mobile, you might have been actually put off by using it. Since I've been shown this, I think I've used this more than I ever had since we bought the motorhome. So let us know what you, you think in the comments. Uh, is something that you would use? Um, what do you think of the new website? Is there anything you think uh, should be added? If there's anything else you think that they, they, they could add or um, you think uh, they've missed something or if you generally if you think it's a, a great looking website let us know. I'm sure Swift will be watching and uh, I'm sure they'll be interested in what you think. Um, anyway so if you've enjoyed this remember to give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that notifications icon and you'll get updates when I release another video. So thanks for watching. See you soon.